All right, what is up guys? Dr. Andre Pinesett here. And today I wanna to talk to you guys about why you aren't the great student you aspire to be. And for many of you guys, you think you've tried so many things to be great, but I'm gonna tell you the one thing that is really going to make you great. Are you ready for it? But stop making excuses, stop whining, stop, right? Get at it. No excuses, just dominate. And it comes from a quote. And I think this quote, I use it all the time because I think it really embodies what separates people from who they are and who they wanna be. It separates the students who are average from students who are great, who are fantastic, who are dominant. Me, right, from the average student I was, who I am today. And this quote is by Daniel Alley. And the quote goes like this. The difference between who you are and who you wanna be is competence and confidence. Here, the difference between who you are and who you wanna be is just competence and confidence. And that may sound simple. It may sound profound to some of you guys, but when I heard this quote, it was very profound to me and it really kind of, I think when I like quotes are quotes that hit me as something that sums up and simplifies many other things that I may have been thinking or heard of, right? So it kind of clarifies my thinking. And when I heard this quote, it so resonated with me because it is kind of like my no excuses just dominate and it really flips with both of those things in the sense that if we want to get to dominance, we must recognize that everything that's stopping us, all the obstacles, all the reasons we shouldn't succeed, all the adversity we face, all the things we tell ourselves why we're not dominant are just excuses. And the only thing that stops us from getting there is our ability to put in effective action long enough to get that success. And with this quote, you hear that same thing. The difference between who you are and who you wanna be is just competence and confidence. And so for many of you guys who struggle in school, who feel like I'm not the student I wanna be, I can't figure out why, I don't know what's going on. The issue is, is that you haven't put in the time to develop a competence to get you to a place of confidence. Why are some people confident, other people aren't confident? The difference is, is that confident people have had a track record where they feel they've had enough success, enough positive outcomes, where where they can feel positive, that they can move themselves to another positive outcome. And for many of you guys as students, you procrastinate, you put off, you ignore, right? You do everything you can to avoid showing the fact that you are incompetent, right? That's what happens to the average student, right? Is you're putting your attention in places that make you feel good, but aren't getting the result. And you think, you know, looking at motivational quotes, you think hearing me spout motivation is going to change your life and make you more confident. The only way to become more confident is to improve your competence. And the question I will ask you, and I want you to ask yourself as you sit there and you hear this and you're thinking about this, what have you done to make yourself competent? Even simpler, what have you done to even improve your competence? You tell yourself, I'm doing everything I can, I'm trying as hard as I can. Guys, your parents lied to you, your teachers lied to you. These motivational people you listen to, they've lied to you. Trying isn't enough. It's like in relationships, you hear your girl say, you say to your girl, why well, try? Trying, you don't get credit for trying. You get credit for execution, you get credit for doing, you care for caring out for being successful. To say you've tried to be successful, yes, it's accurate. But if you haven't tried the right thing, applied the right way to execute your growth, it doesn't matter. If you feel like you're a terrible student, maybe you are a terrible student. And maybe that starts you and motivates you to actually really dedicate yourself to becoming competent is to recognize, man, I'm not what I should be. Dang it. What can I do to be better? And then to start to think to yourself, well, listen, I can be better. The difference between who I am and who I want to be is just competence and confidence. And confidence is extremely dependent on competence. Real confidence, not the blowhard, like, you know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, I'm so confident, I'm amazing, you can't stop me, and you really got going on. We wanna have real confidence founded in our competence. And so for you guys, I encourage you, you're not gonna be above average if you're doing what all the other average people are doing, what the average person is doing to be successful. You look at things like TikTok, and people wonder like, I have a TikTok profile, I don't post a TikTok, why? Because I feel like TikTok is the epitome of what's happened to our society in the sense that people wanna be distracted, wanna be entertained, as opposed to wanting to be educated. They want to be distracted and deterred from their life as opposed to making their life better. For so many of you guys, you go to social media, you go to forums to get your information, yet you refuse to crack a book, yet you refuse to invest in a course, yet you refuse to invest the time it takes to become skilled and to become expert and to recognize that greatness isn't made in an instant. Greatness is made each and every day, every inch by inch, every effort by effort. Where's your effort at? Where's your hustle at? Where's your commitment at? 
doing at? Where's your educating at? Is your brain soft? Or have you put the time in to fill your brain with the building blocks of greatness? That is the separator, guys. Do we understand what I'm saying here today? All of you guys who are listening to this, who are watching this, yes, you can become great. Yes, you can be that student you dream of, that you see like in the mirror, in the distance. You're like, man, I could be so great. I could be so amazing. I could get the A. The only reason you're not getting the A is because you haven't developed the competence you need to get the A. And unlike what your parents told you, just work hard. Working hard isn't enough. You have to work smart as a student in 2020. So I ask you, what have you done to put yourself in a position to be competent to work smart? What have you done to deserve the A other than work ethic? Because work ethic is not sufficient. When people tell me I'm a hard worker, great. I work from sun up to sun down, great. The work ethic's there. But what would be better is if you worked from sun up to mid afternoon because you were so efficient and you were able to have your afternoon for your own life. That is what I want. I want productive, but I want efficient production. And some of you guys are just grinding away. It's not sustainable. So I want you guys to recognize you all can be great, you all can dominate, but the separator is are you willing to get competent? I mean, really competent, not like, oh yeah, I kind of know what I'm doing. No, you don't get credit for trying. You don't get credit for what you know. You get credit for what you can prove, what you can execute. So saying I knew everything on the test, but I didn't get questions right, it doesn't count. Get the questions right. All right, guys. So thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate it. I'm Dr. Pints at The Study Doc. Please take a second. If you are enjoying this, like, subscribe, give me a review. Let me know you're enjoying this stuff so I can bring more of it to you. If you have something on your brain, something on your mind that you want help overcoming, get to my website. It's studenttransformation.com. If you're ready to level up, you're ready to step your competence game up, you're ready to really invest in yourself and your greatness, get to studenttransformation.com and get into a course or get into a coaching program to move you forward, to transform, to change your life. All right, guys, thank you so much. How do we always end? No excuses, just dominate. See you guys next time. Today is the day, guys. No more excuses, no more complaining. You're going to take your future in your own hands. You're going to dominate. You're going to be successful. Get to my website, studenttransformation.com. I challenge you. What are you going to do today to make your life better?